Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about SharePoint online call to action web part and we will see why we use it and then how we can use it in a SharePoint site page. So without further delay, I will open a SharePoint site. You can see here this is a SharePoint site and on this I will create a site page first. So I will click on page and then I will click a blank layout and then create a page so i'll give a name for it so i'll say call to action demo and uh, on this uh, i'll just delete the default uh, web part and then i'll make it to two section now i'll click on add and then i will search for call action you can see here this is the web part so once i click on add the web part will be added here you can see and in this uh, basically you can put some information and then user uh, user can click on a button and they can get some more information on that so i'll just select and i'll change this text for example i'll say here uh, to know to probably know more about terms and conditions uh, probably I will say I'll just know here I will then change the button to click here and for this you can edit this web part and you can see here button label so what button label you want to uh, display so I'll say click here and uh, then you can see it is asking for a button click url so in this case i have a terms and condition page so i'll just copy this url and i'll put it here so you can see it you can put it here and then you can see now how it is coming uh, you can also change the alignment of the button you can see i can make it to uh, center align or i can make it to right align as well and if you want then you can also change the background color this of this web part uh, so here I can uh, give an image from that. Let's say I'll go here and I'll give this image just quickly. And you can see here that a background image for this web part has been changed. I'll just click over here, click on publish. Uh, now you can see this is the call to action. So whenever user will click over here, they can go to the page URL which we have provided. And in my previous videos, I have explained uh, different type of web parts like document web part, list web part, and list properties web part. So if you want similar kind of videos, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. You will get a lot of free videos on Microsoft uh, 365. I like, you know power apps power automate power bi so entire power platform you can get videos you can get videos on spfx airpoint everything you can get it so thank you and have a nice day